Oh, 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 I had it streaming on the other thing, so it was echoing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful souls. This is a really, really special class. I am so happy you made it today. This is an epic, epic, epic class. Um, it's going to be one that I revisit a lot as far as um, with my own practice. And I'm so happy that it was given to us through lots of deep work and meditation. I'm really, really excited to share it. For all of you that are new, my name is Aviva Vuvuzela. This is my channel, Aviva Sings Out. I do music and earth and building and Qigong classes for you all. Basically, my life is about developing a lifestyle where we can all share our gifts and not be limited by the economy and emotional stress. Today, we are talking about emotional dunking. What is emotional dunking? As I'm talking, please set your environment. Please make yourselves comfortable. Make sure there's not too many distractions around you, that you protect your space right now. Turn off the phones, maybe light a candle, burn some incense. Whatever you need to do to get in the zone for your own personal growth and healing connection with yourself. Notice your breath. Notice your heartbeat. Emotional dunking. This is not Dunkin' Donuts. Emotional dunking is when you literally cannot take action because you've been emotionally dunked, vibrationally dunked. You might not even know it's emotional. That shock emotion is not as easy to feel as sadness, anger, fear, shame even. Being emotionally dunked is not able to express not only your emotions, also your voice in any way. You don't feel seen, you don't feel heard, you feel the opposite, you feel all of your power has been taken away from you, you have no power to speak. Literally, sometimes you can't even speak or it's impossible for people to hear you. So I'm gonna tell you a very real story that happened to me, which enabled me to make this metaphor. And as I was doing some journaling, Yesterday, actually, I think it was, or maybe the day before, I made the connection. What happened to me when I was a very small child, I would say four, five, maybe even three. I don't know my age. We had a pool in my backyard. And I vibrationally was able to feel something was wrong. I got a very doom feeling in my body. Um, and I started to feel heat and I could even hear a sound that wasn't going on in reality. It was like there was a music that was playing in another dimension and it scared me so much. And I looked across the way and my brother was what appeared to be drowning in a pool, my younger brother. And it's almost like I was trapped in another dimension. I just thought of that right now. I literally could not say, somebody help, help. I couldn't use my voice. I saw what was happening, but there was a force that came over me that was like, pushing me down. Similar to how if you have a dream and you want to run, but you can't. That's exactly the feeling that came over me. Thankfully, someone else saw him and got him out of the water. But it was such a horrible feeling 
to see something happening and be aware of it and have absolutely no power to stop it. And that is what I'm calling emotional dunking. And I think it's what we all can experience even in very minor ways when we feel trapped and unable to take action in our own lives, when we feel depressed, when we feel anxious, when we feel unworthy even of pursuing our dreams, of being successful, of getting the relationship that we want. So what causes emotional dunking and what remedies it is what we're going to be exploring in class today. But I will say that we are each on our unique individual paths. So what causes emotional dunking for one person? What causes them to be unable to use their voice? Sure, it might be similar societal pressures that we're all feeling, similar systemic issues of not allowing feelings to be present in the day-to-day -day life and that being shamed. But we each have made agreements throughout our whole lives based on the experiences that we've had, maybe traumas that we have had that say, I'm not going to speak up here. I agree to not speak up here. I agree to not be seen here. And a lot of it's subconscious and subtle and it needs to be unraveled. And once it's, once it's unraveled, that's the remedy. Once you do the matrix therapy or whatever therapy works for you and you see it eye to eye and you see, oh, I made this decision and I can make a different choice. That's obviously your remedy. And look at my notes here. Keep, keep paying attention to your breath and your heartbeats. One thing that happens very obviously is that we can get triggered. When we get triggered into feeling a violation, let's say, and it takes us out of the now and it brings us back into the scenario that we haven't healed from yet. And so what might seem like a very innocent gesture from someone else might feel like a deep violation to you. That's one example of being emotionally dunked. Now, if you're around someone who's really compassionate and can hold space for you and realize it's okay that you feel this way, it's not anything personal to them, then they, they are essentially pulling you out of that drowning water so that you can see more clearly and be in the present and feel revived. But if you're not around someone like that, you just stay dunked and unable to really express how you're feeling. So finding words and finding the language of it is also part of the remedy. Um, but when you're triggered, and you can't explain that you're triggered to someone and you're just in this emotion that has nothing to do with them, then it's hard to find words. It's hard to really express yourself clearly. Um, you are essentially corrupted. I mean, it's literally the same thing as if I were to pour water all over my keyboard or my phone, it would corrupt it. If you were to drop your phone in water, unless it's waterproof, it would corrupt it. It would corrupt the files. It would make it unable to function. Same as you, if you were dunked into a vibration that's not good for your energy, that is, you can get dunked emotionally or metaphysically or vibrationally into an energy that takes your power away from functioning, just like a phone falling in the water takes the power away from functioning. You would get corrupted. You can get corrupted by mass hysteria. You can get corrupted by fear propaganda. You can literally be choked. You can literally be convinced that there's no way to take action because of mass hysteria, because of fear propaganda, um, our society can be corrupted by lies, by leaders lying, which can cause us all 
to feel less powerful in the action that we can take. I just want my voice to be heard is a good thing to say if it's not being heard. I just want my voice to be heard and being aware that you want that. Because even when you're corrupted, you might be saying the exact opposite of what you mean to be saying. It can be interpreted in all different ways and you just want your voice to be heard, your pure voice, not even what you're saying. You might be getting defensive and defending yourself and saying the opposite of what you mean. mean. You just want your voice to be heard. If someone calls you a murderer and you just want to express your point of view, you have a right to be heard. People are calling names. They're shading you. It's not the truth that they're corrupting you. They're corrupting what you're able to say. And this happens in narcissistic relationships and abusive relationships. You say something and the person says, you said this. It's like gaslighting. It's like, no, I didn't say that. I just want to be heard for what I'm saying now. That's the most important thing. We've got to be able to have that ability without emotionally dunking each other. Not allowing free speech is emotionally dunking. Ignoring the truth that's being said because of someone's agenda is emotionally being dunked. And you think to yourself, is something wrong with my wiring? Like that moment that I wanted to save my brother and I couldn't, something felt very wrong with my wiring. But was it my wiring or did my circuit just break? Or why was I paralyzed? Was someone putting me under some evil spell? That's almost what it felt like. But one thing that it could literally be is that because of past traumas, you could literally be hardwired to have a circuit break because the electricity is not wired with integrity because you have a loose wire because you have the self-doubt already in your system and so you had you blew a circuit you blew a circuit but you're not your wiring is not essentially wrong you just blew a circuit and it needs to get fixed so all these analogies, what I'm trying to say is when you're deeply upset, sometimes there's a power outage. But it doesn't mean the lights can't come back on. You have the ability to speak up and to speak up loudly and we just need to do some revival there. Um, let's pay attention to our breath. I have so much to say, but I feel like we should start with the movements. I don't want you to just be sitting there and taking it all in and not able to move through it. So let's pay attention to our breath. Our heartbeats. And just notice what's going on with you today. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate you. And we're going to share our intentions when we're ready. My name is Aviva. My intention is to be here for all of you today and to share what I believe some of the causes of emotional dunking is and some of the remedies as well. And for myself to feel so revived from the emotional dunking I've experienced so that I can sidestep any kind of somewhat of a curse over me that stops me from using my voice and really feeling free to always use my voice for the safety of others and to help all survive. And what are your intentions out there? For 
project your intentions out into the world. We're going to do our lotus because that's a nice basic receiving your power energy and connecting to your clean circuitry full of strong wires. So we're going to bring our lotus flower. We're going to breathe in our intentions. Release anything in the way. Breathe in your intentions. Release the resistance to shining. Breathe in your intentions. Release the resistance to using your voice. Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. I'm going to bring the roots down, soaking in that love and bringing it up to express it. Nice, gentle opening of your flowers. And dip down. And open up. And dip down. Ooh, and open up mm. and dip down. And open up. One more time, dip down. And open up. All these open finger exercises are really great for getting out of that emotional dunking. It's almost like, let me out of here. Look at me. I'm making myself bigger so I can be seen. All the fingertips together is like being able to see the clarity, the intuition. This is the intuition mudra, hand yoga. Connect intuition taking your time going slowly good We are multidimensional beings, so we can see things in one dimension that we don't see in this one. That might feel a bit like a split personality or ego spirit is what it is. Just because we might see things in certain dimensions and be aware of things spiritually, it doesn't mean that we always know how to apply that to our physical lives. And that is part of what studying Qigong is about, merging that gap, bridging the two forms of consciousness so that you can bring that Qi energy, that essence energy into your life every single day and not feel depleted. not feel stuck, not feel burdened by the daily hustle and bustle. Mm -hmm. 
All right, my friends. Before we talk about the remedies to emotionally being dunked, I'm going to remind you that Qigong is a remedy for everything. I'm going to grab my mat. These mats are linked below. I highly recommend them. They're not affiliate links, unfortunately, but I still promote something that I feel will benefit your life because it's important. Hi, yeah, yeah, 2K. All right, so we are going to begin with just rocking back and forth on our toes and feeling our feet completely on the floor. It might take several rocks. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what emotionally dunking is what it feels like. It feels like knots in your stomach. It feels, it is like a multi-dimensional knot that stops the spirit from coming through, that stops you from feeling like you're even allowed to have your spirit coming through. And it almost gets tainted in a way and misfires so that you feel perhaps even shame, unworthy, feel like it's pointless to move forward. You feel stopped from moving forward at all. You feel like you're essentially not allowed to succeed. You're not allowed to shine. You're not allowed to be a superhero. It's like this wall. It's like it's like if you are like running a race and this wall just appears in front of you and you're like, why can't I go any further? What is this? And it's like this emotional dunk of literally not allowing you to move forward. Like just almost something in your psyche. It's not rational. It's like, why is there a block there? It's like, I'm doing everything I can. I'm doing everything right. So what is this mucus pretzel of consciousness that is not letting me through? And it is because my friends, the multidimensional reality is real and there is a mucus pretzel. It's not a physical one, but there's something metaphysically going on with the agreements that you made that literally is stopping you from being seen and heard and moving through, forward. And only you can, can find the answer to that and drink that metaphorical lemon juice to burn away that mucus holding you back. Keep on rocking back and forth with your toes. It's like a video game. It really is. And because it's vibrational, there's vibrational remedies, which is exciting. And after I talk about the vibrational remedies, I'm gonna talk about the more serious emotional dunking that can happen from relationship issues. And if you come to me for relationship help, in private sessions, you'll realize, or maybe you've had this experience yourself with other therapists, you'll realize that, oh, wow, you're emotionally dunking each other in relationships because of your inner child issues, and you don't even realize it. And that's creating this mucus barrier to amazing intimacy and amazing connection because of all these invisible barriers filled with shame and fear and whatnot, anger. All right, so we're going to get started. I just really want you to really pay attention to the feet because the feet are like, you know how they say the eyes are the window to the soul? The feet are like doorways to the soul. Like if they're not open, your energy really can't be flowing. So that's really a huge part of Qigong is opening up your feet, just softening them, lifting those toes like a froggy and just putting them down as if you've got suction to the ground and just taking that extra time, not rushing into exercising, but taking that extra time to make sure you're open. It's like letting the water heat up when you're washing the dishes. It's like opening the oven to clean it. I mean, you can't clean it by just keeping the door closed. So we're opening the doors to our energy flow so we can clean it. All right, so we are going to take our yin hand, which is right for women and left for men, or whichever one feels right to you. 
bring it under the belly button. Okay. And then the other hand is above the belly button. So it's about two fingers distance on each side. And just let the hand sink into the belly. Feet are shoulder width apart now. Pelvis is relaxed and shoulders are bouncing up and down as your knees are bouncing up and down, the same rhythm. Now everyone's got a different rhythm, okay? Now because every dimension is a different vibration and being emotionally dunked is like being vibrationally shifted into another dimension, just shaking and vibrating can literally help you resuscitate yourself from that emotional dunking. Dogs, you'll see them shake. You'll see, you know, children shake when they're upset about something. Shaking is a primal way to free yourself from vibrational prison in a sense. Emotional dunking is basically not, not being able to really feel any vibration in a way. So being able to feel vibration is resuscitates you energetically. So that's why Qigong is a serious energy resuscitator. Not just this move in vibrating, but when you really get the hang of Qigong, you'll realize you can shift and feel vibrations in any moment. You can feel the vibration of your Qi when you get really good at your practice and disciplined and consistent. You can just plug in. ACDC. Today we're doing the Wujigang form as we talk about emotional talking. And you should get to a rhythm that feels almost like you're jumping on a trampoline, just a really good rhythm for your body. It just feels natural and right. And you're going to open up the bottom hand and face it up. Once again, that's right for women, left for men, or whatever feels right to you. And then the other one comes up and faces down. And you're shaking, shaking, relaxing those shoulders. And shake, 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 shake. And then come to stillness. Just feel the shoulders relaxing, aligning, not forcing anything, not forcing deep breathing, just being aware of your breath. Relax that left shoulder down and so the shoulder and ear gets a nice separation then just relax it back up, back and forth. You're not pulling the shoulders back up, you're just relaxing them and if they come back up, they come back up. Sometimes you might start here, so when you go down, it might stay down. Relax down and come back up, back and forth.
And rotate the left shoulder back three times. And the right. The left. Keeping the arms open and the right. <sighs> And both at the same time, please. You know, some people think that they have to do psychedelic drugs or mind altering drugs to get to the other dimension, but it's really all in your subconscious. So the matrix therapy I do is trippy. It's like taking a trip without chemically changing your experience like breath therapy primal therapy going to those other dimensions while you're conscious and up with the arms hands out and then just gently let them float down like feathers good you're bending your knees a little bit here and then you bring them up and you don't quite straighten your knees all the way and you come back down Pay attention to those feet. Come up halfway in reverse direction. Relax those thighs. And bring your yin hand on top of your head, fingers spread, and the yang on top of that. Bend the knees and just let that light into you. Breathe. Feel that energetic cleansing and the circuitry being repaired. Crossed wires being uncrossed.
Mm. Hands over your heart. Over your tummy. And out to over the thighs. And out to the sides. So the next part of the form is called collect, uh, absorbing the energy from the earth. So nice grounding energy. Lift the left heel, bend both knees and rotate that left knee towards the right. So when you're emotionally dunked, you were probably pulled from your roots, disconnected from the ground. So this grounding movement is really good for reviving yourself. And turn the knee the other direction, that left knee opening up. Relax the heel down, lift the right heel up, bending both knees, rotate that right ankle towards the left. Doing great. And the other direction. Feet together, knees together, thighs together, and you're going to bend and rotate to the left. Breathe. And the other direction, please. Hi, Frank. And then we're going to bring our feet shoulder width apart. And just like a tree in the wind now, you're going to just sway back and forth. You're going to go to the right and the left. And feel how flexible you are with your arms. And your feet are going to be staying in the ground like at the roots of a tree, staying strong. I'm going to tell you some two very, very simple remedies to get you out of emotional dunking. You're gonna be filled with perhaps emotional pain when you're dunked, shock, and it might be hard for you to realize that literally drinking water or any nurturing liquid can change your vibration and get you out of that frozen vibration. Warm cup of tea, even better. But water has a unique vibration that's stimulating to your essence. Especially if you sing to it. I love you, I love you, I love you. Water is very impressional. It vibrates. And it's rare that it'll vibrate with the energy that's holding you down. Like energy that's holding you down that, that you feel like is cursing you or putting you under a spell is like being stuck in mud. 
and mud and water doesn't really mix. You know what I'm saying? Don't say things like that, Frank. That's distracting. So the water cleans the mud off of you and it vibrates with your pure energy. Do you understand? It is, water is so good for our essence. It's so good for our vibration. And it does not mix with the vibration or the lack of vibration that's holding us back. It doesn't make that stronger. It doesn't feed the barrier. It helps you break through it. Be aware, if something is good for you physically, it's probably good for you emotionally and mentally as well. A lot of us feel worse when we eat junk food because you're literally physically creating blockages for your energy to flow physically. So of course, it's not going to flow as much energetically either. Come to stillness, arms out to the side. Very good. Like an like breeze is lifting up your arms. Connect with the ground, feel the earth energy. Trigger warning. A lot of survivors literally cannot say no. A lot of survivors of abuse, sexually or otherwise, because of this concept of emotional dunking. They just don't, it's like, it's like something's holding them, choking them, so they can't even say, I don't like when you do that. I don't want you to do that. It's somehow hardwired with an agreement that speaking up for yourself is being mean, is being bad, is doing something wrong. But it's so subconscious that when someone comes at you and you want to say, back off, no, I don't want to hug you or I don't want you to touch me or my stuff, that you can literally feel so guilty about that, that it bothers you for the next week. And you're like, oh my God, was I mean to this person? Was I rude to this person? Like, am I bad for standing up for myself? And that's just one example of a trigger that could be for some people and not for other people. So everyone has their own triggers. And that feeling of being worried and excessively worried, that's like emotionally dunking, almost emotionally dunking yourself, even though it comes from something from your past, probably. All right, feeling that connection with the earth. The earth is vibrating and connecting with every cell in your body, grounding you, grounding every cell in the body, getting out those free radicals. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. So we've got two remedies so far for emotional dunking. And I'm going to write them out here. Water and Qigong. Or any kind of shaking. Okay. So now we're going to go to the next part of the form, which is alchemizing humanity. Our feet are still shoulder width apart. We're going to bring the hands in front of the belly button about two fists away. Hold that there like you're holding a little energy ball. You're going to rotate the hips around in a circle as you hold that. So the next one is significant or comfort smells. So powerful. I usually have 
bottles of essential oils around me all the time. So like eucalyptus, which I just wrote a song about last week. You, 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 eucalyptus. Oh. The amygdala has the power to immediately connect a familiar smell, a comforting smell, a yummy smell with a memory. And this is very powerful because if you associate a smell with a time in your life when you just felt so powerful and so loved and so flowing and moving and growing and succeeding, then you're automatically brought to that place again. And you feel like a success and you're out of that emotional dunking because you're connecting with the essence you are in the dimension where you feel great instantly. But it can take some time, you know, if you've got, if you're way underwater with the emotional dunking, it might take smelling it 15 times, you know, be patient with yourself, pulling yourself out of the water. All right, the other direction. It could be why, you know, cooking is so healing for us and so good for us, partly because we're smelling it as we're making it. Even baking, if, even if you don't want to eat sweets, baking something, boiling cinnamon on the stove, they have an incredible nurturing effect to your energy, to your, they help you vibrate. They help you remember that full feeling of, of happiness that you might have forgotten in the moment because you're dunked. So remembering this is vibrational music is also another remedy. Music that you love. Always remember you can sing a song yourself. You don't even have to have electricity. Any kind of music, humming, vibrating that energy, vibrating yourself, pulls you out of the dunkness. And remember, be there for the veterans. Be there for our veterans this week, for Veterans Day. This is... They're dealing with emotional dunking on so many levels, so many, so many levels. They need so much support, so many arms, vibrations lifting them out of that, that dunkenness. They deserve to have cannabis. They deserve to have shrooms, whatever they need to get them out of that state of being emotionally dunked because they can get pretty deep under. especially what's going on now with some of them getting their health benefits taken away from them for not getting the jab. They need more support, not less. Water, qigong, music, smell. Another really easy one. Easier said than done. Deep breathing. Okay, open your legs up wider for the next part of the form. But before we do that, just take a breath. What does it feel like to get that breath moving through you? That's similar to water. It's a vibration. It's like the wind blowing the sand off of you, cleaning you up. It's so much more powerful than people give credit for. I know when you're angry, you feel like punching someone who says, take a deep breath. But what they're saying is, you're hot right now. Take off your clothes, you know? Like, here's a fan. You know, you're, you're soaking wet right now. Here's, here's a blanket, you know, here's some heat. That's what your breath is. That's what the power of the breath is. It's like a blanket when you're cold. It's like a heater when you're cold. It's like an air conditioner when you're hot. The breath is so powerful. <sighs> Claim that power, receive that love. Any moment you can receive the love of your breath. Anytime you're stressing out. Receive that breath. Slow down. 
receive that nurturing. Blanket yourself with love. Feel that relief when you get a deep, deep one. Don't force it. Qigong alone does help to deepen the breath. Also, just breathing helps to deepen the breath. If you're real stressed, ask yourself, am I breathing? You might not be. All right, open up your stance. And... It's going to be hard to see me. I apologize. Still working on that. Bend the knees. Bend over. Lift your left arm all the way up to your ear and just let it drop down like a feather. And you can go back and forth. And let's let's hear the music. Let's feel what the music does to us. Let's feel some flying penguin lullabies and especially that 432 music, right? Now we're going to reach across the body. Back and forth. 
social approval so a lot of times if we're not approved of because we're successful we have this barrier we're scared to be successful because we don't want to lose people we don't want to lose our friends our friends are actually more important you know you hear a lot of songs when people sing you know saying you know they lost friends after they after they were successful. Maybe they changed or maybe their friends just couldn't handle their success. And it's hard, you know, we, it's challenging. I won a lip sync contest in seventh grade and I lost a bunch of friends because they didn't like that I won the class contest. It was so weird. It's so weird how that happened. So maybe that's something that that affected me subconsciously. Maybe it's held me back a little bit. Maybe it's made me a little bit more scared to succeed at things. You know, we all have our little issues. All right, come on up. We're going to feel the chi. This is called the wuji now. The whole form is the wuji gong, and this part of the form is the wuji. This is where you just move however the energy moves here. Yeah. Just feel connected to the energy and just let your energy move freely. Try not to judge the movements. Try not to force any movements. Try not to think, oh, it'll feel good if I do this or that. Just let it be. Just let it flow. Excuse me. I'm gonna do this for five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna step away from the computer. Just follow your own intuition, your own groove. Try not to mimic. Let your energy be free. Thank you. 
Just a few more minutes. Woody God, just feeling your chi. Job. Any questions so far? I'm going to write down the other two remedies here. And then we'll talk about them. Good job, y'all. Wuji Gong. Wonderful, wonderful. Before we sit down, let's just do a little bit more chi walking. I do think it's important we have 15 minutes or so to do acupressure at the end of class. Self-massage is really wonderful. But we're gonna do some chi walking. I feel like this is a nice little go-to movement if you're standing in line somewhere or you just need a few minutes of relaxation and you're not sure what to do. It's real easy movements. You just gently lift your wrists, lift one foot, let the wrist float down, and then just lean towards that foot. Lift the other foot up as the wrists come up, and then put that foot down and lean towards that foot that just went down, that left foot. Lift the right, and then you just step back and forth. So, just like in drowning, if you're under for a certain amount of time, it can start to call, cause brain damage, even if you are revived. Because the oxygen isn't going to the brain or whatnot. If you are emotionally dunked for a long period of time, it can have major repercussions. And that's really something to be aware of and to be patient with yourself 
in the healing process, the reintegration process. For example, if you're in an abusive relationship, a narcissistic relationship, it can be an emotionally dunking process that lasts for years. And that can be very complicated getting out of and getting revived from. When you're putting up with that abuse for so long, what you're often dealing with is putting up with that feeling of being unworthy or like something's wrong with you. You know, it's not just a once a year thing. It becomes this daily thing. And so it might show up as depression, as anxiety, as anger, as low self-esteem. But it's actually way more complicated than that, way more interwoven, which is why, you know, just taking antidepressants and anti-anxiety, it's not even about the depression and the anxiety. It's about the emotional dunking, the overall emotional dunking, the overall dewiring of your ability to have an electrical system that's functioning. It's almost like there's a curse over you. You know, it's not, I mean, depression can feel like a curse, absolutely. It's just in a different dimension. When you're repeatedly pressured to believe something's wrong with you, you're incapable of taking action, you're not worthy of love, you're not even worthy of God's love, you're this horrible human being. Like if you're immediate, if you're constantly pressured to believe that and agree to that in a sense for your own survival, then you're gonna really have to change your agreement and your belief in who you are. In order to move away from these chains in order to break these chains. In order to move away from that mental prison, you're going to have to take some serious, serious action to change your beliefs. And that's what you have matrix therapy for. Matrix therapy is available to you for that. If it's too overwhelming to do for yourself, breath therapy helps with that. And Bach flowers are amazing. They're vibrational as well, and they are incredible reminders of who you really are on a daily basis. They're incredible patterns created in water from flowers and whatnot that literally remind you of your worthiness of love, of your the joy in your heart, of who you really are, that even if you mentally agreed to have low self-esteem and to believe something was wrong with you in order to lift someone else higher, spiritually, you never did agree to that. On another dimension, you never did agree to that because your spirit is intact and your spirit can't feel those things. Your spirit feels joy and love and beauty and harmony and just this amazing perfection, this light, 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 light. Let me show you what Bach flowers look like. I picked that up from Good Nutrition. It was on sale, actually. Willow is one that's really good for dealing with resentment. There's 38 different Bach flowers, and I was trained in consulting with people with Bach flowers oh, over 15 years ago, and I've been working with them ever since. I have my personal spray that I use. It's been, it's been around the block. Um, you can use it for neck pain or emotional stuff. It's a great way to start your day with a spray because it's like saying, I'm on purpose. I'm ready to be me today. No matter what I mentally agreed to be 
no matter how I mentally agree to be someone else or less than my amazing self, I'm affirming that I'm ready to be me, the me, me, the spirit, me, the powerful me, the me that's voice can be heard loudly and proudly. Okay, we're gonna rotate each toe a few times in each direction. That's the me you choose to be when you're doing back flower therapy. And pull the toe away from your foot. So hit me up. I have time to do a couple consultations a week right now. And, you know, just doing one every month or even every few months. You know, you don't have to stress and do it every month, but it is nice to give yourself that fresh mixture to accommodate what agreements you're dealing with and breaking to be the best you that you can be. The matrix therapy takes it a step further and actually goes into the memories and dissects them and finds where you believed this and that so that you can change it. And it's so powerful and so refreshing. And it's what gave me the insight to even come up with the word emotional dunking and have verbiage for it. Because having words for that, whatever is troubling you is a big part of it. Of course, you can write music about it and do art about it. It's not all about the language. But it does help when integrating your voice with this society, how to explain who you are and what you want to share with the world. All right, pull the toes back and rub the bottom of the feet. So those are the tools in my toolbox and I'm happy to share them. Just like I'm sharing Qigong. And they're tools that, you know, you can do sessions with me and hire me to do the consultations. But eventually, a couple years into doing, you know, Bach flower consultations and matrix therapy consultations, you should be able to just do them on your own. It's not like something that you need to have, a, you know, someone, an outside person forever. They're actual tools that you can learn how to do on your own. Just like essential oils, you know, learning the blends that work for you. All right, let's find a point on the bottom of the foot and hold that for 20 seconds. I want to be able to provide tools for people without needing to be dependent on me in any way. Unlike addictive drugs. All right, now we're going to find a point under the knee the inside of the leg, about two fingers below the knee or more, where you feel that trigger point, hold that for 20 seconds. So just like we're finding trigger points on our bodies, when we do matrix therapy, I find, we find trigger points emotionally from your past. Oh, well that actually triggered several years of depression or me feeling insecure about something that I felt secure about my whole life. How did that happen? How did that pretzel happen? Crunch, crunch. All right, now on the outside above the knee, four to five fingers above, and hold that for 20 seconds. Find that pressure point. And once you feel the pain of the pressure point, just like you will feel a little bit of emotional pain, but in a good way. You know, so many people I know can't cry anymore because they've been traumatized so much. But when you're able to cry about something, it's like, Oh, thank goodness. I can release that now because I felt about it. I'm not in shock anymore. I melted a little bit. The ice is broken and the barrier is broken. And it's such a relief. Tap, 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 t
Excellent. Other foot, we are almost done. Rotate each toe a few times in each direction and pull the toe away from the foot. Rotate the whole ankle. Both directions. And wrap the mouth feet. I remember learning about how years ago, I think like Greek or Roman times, there were people, the people who have the job of grieving, they were called grievers. And at funerals, they would come and just wail and cry and grieve. And that helped to give people permission to feel their own feelings. That's how much emotions used to be valued as opposed to now where you don't see that that much. You see people encouraged to be more robotic in some ways. Let's get back to our roots. Let's get back to feeling. Feeling is so good for you. And rub between your toes. It takes a vibrational shift. Find a point on the bottom of your foot and hold that for 20 seconds. Find that trigger point. Oof. It helps to have healthy livers too. What are you doing for your livers today? Lemon juice, artichokes, milk thistle. Do what you gotta do. Get that liver functioning so well so that your hormones, your moods, your digestion, everything is so much better with a healthy liver. All right. Now we under the knee, on the inside of the leg, couple fingers down, hold that for 20 seconds. five fingers above on the outside of the leg. Find another point for 20 seconds. and pulled out of those deep, drowning, turbulent, emotional dunking waters so that you feel that you can be seen and heard clearly and express what you need to express for your own survival and survival of your friends and the revival of this world and your heart. We're going to do a bow out, an optional bow. Um, I will say that you are more than welcome to donate to the channel. I certainly appreciate trying to at least make the money that I was making at the YMCA due to lockdown. We got let go, which was about 25, 30 a class I was making through them. So if a few of you could donate, that would be so amazing. My cash app is, but you don't have to. I am happy to offer this because it's so important, you know? This is my Zelle and PayPal. And there is that money button on the chat as well, the super chat button that you can do as well if you wanted to just give me $5 through YouTube. Um, Cash App is probably the most, like as far as me keeping all the money. Well, Zelle, I keep all the money too. I think PayPal takes a cut and YouTube certainly takes a cut. Yahoo.com. And of course, if you want to just do a monthly subscription with Patreon, you'll get um, 
tracks of the month and other fun downloads from me for just ten dollars a month oh whoops i didn't give you the whole link sorry about that there you go all right my friends optional bow out we honor all the lineage holders who teach us about qigong and we honor all of the teachers who are practicing qigong and teaching and we fill ourselves up with compassion and gratitude those are some other vibrational shifts that can help you not as much as the breath and water though but they certainly are right there with everything else feel what you're grateful for feel that compassion you have for yourself and others and when you breathe spread this out to the whole entire world wow we did it good job everyone i will see you wednesday same time same place keep on keeping on thank you for being you Grab my hand. We're going to get you out of this emotional dunking. You can breathe. <sighs> you can talk. Ah! You can scream. Ah! You can be you.